I'm joined by Melissa Armo. She's the owner of educational firm The Stock Swoosh. Uh, great to have you on. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, so uh, let's talk about this. We're now down almost 900 points now at this particular point. What's your uh, first reaction to this, and what do you think is part of the reason we're seeing this sell-off right now? 998. Dow's down 1,000 points. Now the we Dow's down 1,000 points. Thousand points. Now. Listen, I would not panic at this point. You have to remember the market had over 40% move since the election. We're only at, this is only about a 5% drop down. So when you look at it in the whole, in the bigger picture, it's really not that terrible. People are panicking right now because we had a big sell off day Friday and we're selling off hard today on Monday, but it's really only two days. I think the government shutdowns having something to do with that, the possibility that they're running up into that Thursday night deadline. We don't know what's gonna happen. And also we had not that great of a week last week for some of the big names in the market that reported earnings. Google missed, huge name of the market. Amazon gapped up and kind of fell into the close on Friday and Apple, totally missed on their earnings. I mean, those are the big market movers and they really didn't do it last week. And that didn't help. That 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 was part of the reason for the some, some of the sell-off Friday because there were earnings misses Thursday night. So that started the sell-off Friday, it continued, and now it's continuing today. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we talked to a lot of, uh, you know, analysts and, and industry watchers here about this, uh, this downturn, this reversal. Most of them have said to us, this is, a fear of the inflation, the monetary policies that will hopefully maybe curb inflation and, and also uh, change bond yields here. Is, is that what you're thinking here as well? well I, think, I think you have to, again, look at long term. The bottom line is that the market has been power trending up all of 2017. Things are going to change. They have increased interest rates. The bond market looks different now than it did even three months ago. You have profit taking. People were in the market and they were up a lot. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the fact that people want to take profits, but it doesn't mean that the market's changing trends. The market's still extremely strong. People want to put their money in bonds, then that's up to them. I still think that there's great risk in the market as far as reward to risk goes, because there's nothing but you know good signs ahead, technically, even with the sell-off in the last two days, and fundamentally because of the tax reform. So if people want to put their money in bonds, that's fine. But honestly, I think there's still a huge upside in the market. So risk to reward, again. And look at it. You say I still, you know, can make more money in the market if I stick with some of these strong names. Right now is not a time to buy. People are profit taking, but I'm sure in the next, you know, one to two weeks, there's going to be another good setup in the market where we see it holding a set area, and then it's time to get back in again. Today is not that day. Well, the Dow uh, is now is not that day. the Dow is down almost 1,300 points at the moment, down 5 percent. Melissa, we did see a slight uptick uh, across the board earlier in the day, um, around uh, late morning. Uh, do you have any indication as to why there was a slight reversal there, and now again this tremendous slide, and the Dow just crossed uh, 1,300 points in terms of declines? Because I think you had people, when the market opened this morning, it was down. And so right into the open, people were trying to figure out what to do. And when the market opened down, it, it, after 10, 10 a.m., the market didn't hold. It started to sell off because people saw the market down this morning. And as you know, you, know, you guys are on TV. Everyone's out there. People are talking about the market. Any amount of scaredness, people just say, boop. And remember, people are up, so they're taking profits out. They're up. This isn't this isn't a sign of losses. People are up. So think about it. Just just think about it for a minute. People are taking money out that they're up. People are not selling because they're down. There's a big difference in that as far as the mental state that people are in. So this is panic means oh my gosh, we're down money, we're losing. This is profit taking. People are up now. Of course, if they got out. Friday, they got out with more profit than they did today, or some of the tech stocks that didn't report well, like I said, Thursday night, Google for one, right. Apple's another one. But this is not people selling, they're selling because they're down. People are up and they're taking profits. See, see the difference? Like mentally, there's a big, big difference in that. Looking at it as a trader, as a technical person, it's a huge difference in the chart. We're still in an uptrend. Even we could fall, we could fall 10% more and still be in an uptrend, to be honest with you, technically.
Really interesting. Uh, and it's interesting. We've lost about 30 percent of our gains that President Trump had over the course of the last year, just in the last two days. I want to go through some of these tech stocks in particular. NVIDIA is down almost 12 percent today. Google down almost 6 percent today. Netflix down almost 7 percent today. That seems to be some of the big bread and butter when it comes to what really helped it. NASDAQ in particular. But they're really ones, the ones that are really falling. Is that kind of an indi uh, indicative of what we're going to see in 2018 with, we, with these tech stocks? I don't think so. I think part of the reason is that there are people like last week with some of the misses, but Netflix, to be honest with you, it wasn't an earnings miss. Netflix was the week before, and Netflix actually just hit it right out of the park. Again, if you had been long Netflix into the earnings, it had a run up after the earnings that was massive. Why wouldn't you get out? You're up so much. The stock had a huge jump. So again, people are profit taking. The thing is that when you're looking at the bigger picture for 2018, there's a lot out there where people are saying, we want to see these tech stocks continue to grow. Right. And if they miss on the earnings, then people are going to panic. Netflix wasn't one of them. It's just that Netflix had such a big run up that if the market sells off, Netflix, people are going to take profits. It doesn't matter what you're in right now today. There's red all over the board here because yeah. the market's down. So people are getting out when they're up. And Netflix is one of them. Awesome. This, this week, there's some big names. It could turn things around. Tesla's out this week. Disney's tomorrow night. Yep. The markets, I do not think the market's going to fall for the next five days, today through Friday. I don't think that's going to happen. Could it? Yes. Low odds that's going to happen. Eventually, we're going to find an area here and we're going to situate ourselves. And to be honest with you, it could be tomorrow morning. The market could close strong. I know it's 3, 3.12 here about now in the Eastern Time Zone in New York. But the market could close up a little bit from where it was at the low. Unless we close at the low, which we did, unfortunately, on Friday, I think we could hold somewhere in here in the next couple of days. And then you might see buying come in as fast as the market can sell off. And this is very interesting. Let me just say this quickly. As fast as the market can sell off, it can also get bought. And that's a beautiful thing about the market. And the reason why I'm so bullish on the market overall, despite the sell-off for the last two days, and even tech I'm bullish at, too, is because all of the tax savings that these companies are going to have are going to somewhere happen this year that they're going to reflect in their earnings. It did not happen this quarter, but it's early on. My gosh, the law just passed. So right. sometime between now and the end of the year, you're going to see it. You're going to see it in tech. The expectations were there. They didn't meet them last week, but Netflix was not one of them. They did They did a great job on the earnings. Melissa, I just want to push pause for a quick second so we can catch our viewers up on uh, how the indices are, are tracking right now. Uh, I was watching the board here. The Dow is down more than 1,500 points uh, just a couple of moments ago. They've, they've since retreated. The losses have since retreated when we're down. Now just about 1,100 points on the Dow. The S&P 500 are racing all gains and now negative for the year. The S&P 500 down about 100 points at the moment about three and a half percentage points at 26.62. The Russell 2000 um, also seeing losses continuing to accelerate, now down 3%. Um, and the NASDAQ as well now has uh, losses of 220 points, down about 3% as well. So I just want to, Melissa, just catch our viewers up. You're clearly uh, thinking here that this is... Um, something that the markets can recover from. You know, we're very close to a correction here for the Dow. 10% uh, would be, you know, basically a correction. We're about 9%, 9.9% or so. Um, so at, at what stage, though, should investors panic? And what percentage of the sales here do you think are coming from institutional investors? And which ones are coming, you think, from retail investors panicking and getting out of the market? I think it's a combination of both. I think it's a combination of both. But I'll tell you, people have been, pre been predicting that we would have a correction. People were saying that in October of 2017. And then guess what? The market started up with a bang in 2018 and continued to make new highs almost every day we were doing it. So it, what we could have done, what people would have liked to have seen happen, is a nice slow pullback of a series into support with some red days. Instead, the market didn't do it. We had two big down days now, Friday and Saturday. And I'm saying, I mean, Friday and Monday, right. and that could, this could be it. The buying opportunity could set up very quickly after this. Now, whether or not people will, you know, take advantage of it that are retail people or not, I don't know. But I definitely think institutions will when it happens. So I think today's selling and Friday's selling is a combination of institutional selling and retail selling. But again, I don't see huge panic because I look at gaps, and that's what I look at as a trader person, and I'm telling you, the market did gap down Friday, and it did gap down Monday, but not in some massive way. For the market to do a gap down where I would say, wow, this is panicky, it would have to happen in the gap itself overnight, not on a selling day. So, it, like, for example, if we open tomorrow morning, and I'm just throwing a number out there, like at 250 in the spiders, I'd say, whoo, 
that would be panic all over the place if we would open there. A, a down open, it's just a small down open, and even a sell-off day does not strike me as panicky because institutions do look at stuff overnight. They right. do take positions, post-market and pre-market, a lot of institutions do that. And that's how gaps are created. And although we gapped down, like I said, Friday and Monday, they weren't big gap downs or anything that I would say to, for the panic. So you had a lot of retail people in here selling off in the day. And of course, everyone's covering it. Everyone's talking about it because you were right. We did lose the gains that we had since the beginning of 2018, but it's only February 5th. You know, I mean, it's right, so it's, right. it's, you know, we're, it's only, you know, a month into the year. And no one said we had to go up every day in January. We did. It was great while it lasted. If people took profits, they had those gains. But this, again, is setting up where smart people, when the time is right, which is not today, will get back into this market because I still see more records being set for the market in 2018. Uh, and it's just a fact that you know, the tax reform is going to end up enhancing some of these companies' earnings. It didn't happen for first quarter, but it was really last quarter that you saw when the reports came out, you know, this quarter. Right. Melissa, well, uh, stay tuned. Uh, stay with us for one second. We we'll keep stand by. We're going to come back to you here in just a second. Again, we're we're monitoring what's happening with the Dow right now. It's the largest intraday point drop in the history for the Dow. We're now under a thousand in terms of losses. It's now at eight seventeen. But we're going to continue to monitor that, and we're going to get back to Alyssa Armo here in just a few moments, guys, as we continue to look at this. Right back.